my name is Chelsea Smith and I'm a program manager out of the Dayton Central Region for Girl Scouts of Western Ohio. And today we are here to do the Brownie Bugs Badge. Now while we're waiting for folks to get on, um, we are going, I would like you to put your funniest bug joke and the answer in the comments. That way we can read them. I think that would be super amazing. I'll give you a few seconds to do that. If anybody has a funny bug joke, my camera lady will tell me. Um, and we have probably about five viewers right now, so I'll wait for some more folks to get on. Awesome. Um, I'll just keep talking a little bit. So we're out here again at Camp Rolling Hills. This is my big backyard. And there are lots of wonderful things out here. But again, like I said, we're going to focus on the bugs badge today so we will get started in just a few mo moments um again if you have a funny bug joke please put it in the comments we would love to hear them you got any funny bug jokes yet nothing yet all right and we're a little bit slow on the comment and so if you did put something in there already that's okay we'll we'll figure it out Somebody said, hi Chelsea, Emily is here from Troop 42820 in Cincinnati, and it's her birthday. Oh, happy birthday! I hope you have a wonderful day, and just remember to smile, because smiling makes everything better. Alright, so, um, I'm going to keep going then. Like I mentioned before, we're working on the Brownie Bugs Badge, if you haven't already. Put a funny bug joke in the comments. Um, but today we're going to be exploring the world of bugs and find out what these little creatures can do. There are five steps for the bugs badge. The first one is to draw a bug poster. The second one is to try a bug craft. We aren't going to do either of those today because honestly all my craft supplies would blow away and that wouldn't work. But I do encourage you to do that later. But we are going to be focusing on steps three, four, and five which are see bugs in action, hopefully, uh, explore bug homes, and then take a bug field trip. I'm going to take you on a little virtual hike, and that's going to count as our bug field trip, but I still want you to try to go on your own bug field trip when you go home. So, before I really get into all of that, though, can anybody tell me what makes a bug a bug? What is a bug? I know what they are. Do you know what they are? Um, well, there's a lot of different things that can be considered a bug. When I think of a bug, I think of an insect. And an insect has a couple of different parts that make it an insect. Why did a bug cross the road? Why did a bug cross the road? I don't know. To get to the other caterpillar. To get to the other caterpillar. That's a good reason to cross the road. Awesome. Um... Like I was saying, there is a couple of different things that make a bug, a, a bug or an insect an insect. And the first thing is, it has three different body parts, okay? So an insect has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. The head is where all the important bits are, like the eyeballs and the antenna and the mouth part. Um, the eyeballs, there's something called compound eyes. Does anybody know what that means? I'll give you a second to figure it out. How does it, how do bees brush their hair? How do bees brush their hair? I don't know. With a honeycomb. With a honeycomb! You guys are funny. Alright. We'll save the bug jokes for later if I have another pause, okay? Okay. So compound eyes is like an eyeball that has a bunch of little eyeballs in it. So that's really... Really cool. I wish I had a bunch of different eyeballs. I could see everything. That would be so cool. Anyway, so we have your head. And then the thorax is the part that has the legs. How many legs does an insect have? Does anybody know? It's six. There are six legs on an insect. And also, it also has wings. How many wings does an insect have? It's kind of a trick question because it depends on what you're looking at. So the most wings that an insect should have is four. You got two up top and two on the bottom. But sometimes things like ants 
don't have wings, but they're still an insect. Everyone's calling it six. That's for legs. Alrighty. And then the last part is the abdomen. And that's where all like the guts and stuff are. Um, they also sometimes breathe through their abdomen. Can you imagine breathing through your butt? That would be very strange. But that's what insects do. It's kind of cool. But I don't want to try. Okay. So that is one way um, that insects are insects. There's also another way. Think about the human body. Where is your skeleton at? Is it on the outside so everyone can see? No, a human has their skeleton on the inside, but an insect has their skeleton on the outside. It's called an exoskeleton. It's cool. It gives it, like, plated armor. It's, like, you know, a knight in shining armor, almost. If you think of it that way. Um, and there's lots of other things, but that's what I'm going to stick with for now. That way you don't get too overwhelmed with information. Okay, so, next thing we're going to talk about, make sure I don't forget anything. We're going to try to see some bugs in action. Um, and honestly, if you look around out here, it's still... You can't really tell the temperature, but it's still a little chilly out, so not all the bugs are out. We've seen a couple out today. But I did go down to the creek earlier today, and I found some bugs, so I'll show you those bugs in action. And then we'll take a little hike to see if we can find any more. Okay. So, let's see. Can you get... Is it zooming in? Can you see these guys? Yeah? Alright, so I have two bugs in here. Now these bugs look a little bit funny because they're little. They're still babies. They're not fully mature yet. But these... You said it's frozen. If the screen is frozen, then try reloading your page because a lot of times that's a connectivity issue. But these little bugs right here, they're really cool. And I can actually see... Um, it's jaw right here. It tells me what it is. This is a damselfly. And a damselfly looks a lot like a dragonfly, but it's a lot smaller. And when they grow up, they start in the water. The dragonfly will lay its eggs in the water. And then they look like this. This is like the nymph stage. And you can kind of see them. They're waving. They're like, hi, everybody. I'm so cool. But here are some bugs in action in the water. They're not as active as some other bugs, but I do have some other ones that I caught earlier that are a little more active. So let me grab those. Okay. Come on over. Okay. So these ones right here, I hope you can see, um, are a little more active. Right now they're not doing what I said they were going to do, but... These ones right here, these are, I believe, mayflies. And mayflies, especially if you live up by Lake Erie or any body of water, um, mayflies are those things that, like, cover the streets or the side of your house um, around May. They and say, They say, why is it in the water? Because, so these ones are in the water because this is where they grow up. They start their life in the water, and then when they get bigger, they hang around the water. But not all bugs do that, just these ones. But these ones are mayflies. And if you don't know what the adults look like, go ahead and check them out on the internet. There are plenty of pictures. And you can look at the mayfly nymphs, too. All right, so that's it for this. Now we are going to see if we can find any other bugs. So let's go. They said they're moving fast. Yes, they are moving fast. All right. Over here, where there's lots of meat. Actually, as part of our bug field trip, we're going to talk about bug homes because that's one of the steps. So, guys, tell me in the comments where do bugs live while we go and look for some bugs where they live. Right here, there's just a bunch of leaves and sticks and stuff, but a lot of times, you'll just find bugs on the ground. Now, sometimes you'll just find them crawling on the ground, but sometimes you actually have to look for them. So I'm going to dig through the leaves, and we're going to see if we can find anything. Hopefully, if we find anything, you'll be able to see it on the camera, but if not, that's okay. You can always try it at home. There's suggestions that they're in the dirt. Okay. Okay. Anything yet? 
They said in the dirt, on a tree, under a rock. Hmm. Well, I found something. But. So what? What is that? You guys see that? Can you tell me if that's a bug? Does it have three body parts? Does it have six legs? Does it have wings? They said a stick bug. You know, that's a good guess. This is a worm. A lot of times worms and bugs will live in the same kind of place. All right, we're going to put him down. Okay. And we're going to cover that back up that way. I don't disrupt his home. Hoping we can find a beetle or something. But maybe not. That's okay. Oh, here's some ants. I don't want to pick them up because they're tiny and they might bite me. But I don't know how well this video is going to pick up. But right down here, there's some ants. Oh, here's a little beetle. Here you go. Alright, so there's some bugs down there on the ground. Cool, I'm going to put these down. Put the leaves back so we don't disrupt their home that much. Although we already did. Okay, cool. So, some bit bugs live in the ground. We're going to go back this way. Alright, so we found something earlier that was kind of cool. It's like a perfect circle. So this is called a gall. And a gall is something um, that some insects use to um, keep their babies safe. So most likely what happened here is some insect lays, laid its eggs or injected its eggs onto a leaf. And then that leaf made a protective case around it, which created a gall. And you might see a lot of these more in the summer. But this is left over from Everyone's last year. It's frozen. Everyone's saying it's frozen. It's okay. Okay. So that is another place where insects have or let their babies grow. All right. Let's get back over there. All right. I also, a few minutes ago, I showed you some friends in water. So then, of course, water, like creeks and rivers and lakes and all that cool stuff is another place where bugs will live and grow. So that's some more about bug homes. There's some other really cool bug homes out there. Um, I want you to look those up and comment what you find in the comments. Or if I missed one that you're like really passionate about, go ahead and put that in the comments too. Okay. Um, we explored bug homes. We have seen some bugs in action. And this is kind of a whole bug field trip as it is. Um, but what I want you to do to make sure you complete all these steps on your own, because just because I'm doing it doesn't mean this is the only thing you have to do. I still want you to go out around either in your yard or maybe a park or something like that and take your own bug field trip. But this is my version of a bug field trip. So make sure you go out, look for this stuff to complete um, all of these steps. So like I said before, my name is Chelsea Smith, and I'm a program manager for um, Girl Scouts of Western Ohio. And we just did steps three through five, which was see bugs in action. We saw some ants. We saw the bugs in the jars. We saw um, a little beetle. Um, your next step was to explore bug homes. We looked on the ground. There were some bugs in water. We saw some insect galls over here. And then finally, we took a bug field trip by learning all of these things. But again, take your own bug field trip. Um, to finish out this badge, you will need to complete step one, which is to draw a bug poster. Um, remember that a bug has three body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen, um, and draw its 
six legs and it's four wings and it's big compound eyes and it's antennas. But draw that bug poster and make sure you label it. Um, and if you're not exactly sure, you can look it up on the internet. It's okay. If you don't remember what I said, just make sure you follow through and do the work later. And then for step two, try a bug craft. There's a ton, a ton of bug crafts out there. I've seen some where you make butterflies by coloring on a coffee filter with um, a erasable marker, not erasable, washable marker, and then you spray it with water and then use a um, clothespin, clothespin it in the middle and make little antennas out of, um, I forget what it's called. The things that curve and they're colorful. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but then you can also do some cool things with your hands. Like I've made ladybugs with my hands before on a paper plate, but you can Google or Pinterest or anything, a bunch of bug crafts that you want to do, but make sure you put those in the comments too, because we want to see what you're doing to complete your bug batch. Um, if you enjoy this video and are not a Girl Scout, but would like to become a Girl Scout, make sure you visit girlscouts.org slash join to find out more information about becoming a Girl Scout. Tune in tomorrow at 10 a.m. with, um, with us. I think we have Rachel Wells tomorrow morning for the junior drawing badge. And then finally, like I said, make sure you share in the comments the stuff that you're doing to complete your badge. I hope you had fun here today and you got inspired. And I hope to see you soon.